There will always be highs and lows when you're in business. For many of us, the holidays are our peak season. Even if they aren't for you, this video will help you prepare your business for the peak season whenever that may be. Before we start, hit subscribe if you like videos that can help your business. Hi, my name is John Vong and I am the owner of Local SEO Search. The peak season can be any time of the year depending on your business. Either way, you want to be prepared when the season hits because as you know, once you get busy, it can be hard to stop. Whether you sell a product or offer services, being prepared for the inevitable is better than not doing anything at all. Let's define peak season first. For businesses that sell a product, the holidays like Christmas and New Year's are great examples. If you have a restaurant or a rental property, it can be summer, winter, or any school breaks. You get the point. If you have a new business, be attentive to your competition and other businesses in your area. When do they start preparing for the holidays? What kind of promos and discounts do they offer? And if you have an older business, check your data. It's there. When do you see an influx of business? Is it time to plan your seasonal campaigns? It's always a good idea to plan ahead of time. There's always a chance that your plan will not succeed no matter how foolproof you think it is. Nothing really compares to real data and sometimes we don't have that on hand. There's no guarantee as well, especially if it's your first time doing something special for your business. But if you have time to do an A-B testing and do more research, you'll be able to guess which decisions are better for you and your business. Leave ample time for planning to execution to increasing your chance at succeeding. Prepare your workforce because you can't do it all by yourself. Whether you train your current employees for what's ahead or hire temporary ones, your staff need to be prepared. They are the ones who will make or break this season whether you offer in-store or online shopping. I don't cost cut when it comes to employees because I know that they are vital, especially for growing a business like mine. When you are your busiest, things can slip through the cracks and you want to ensure that your staff are prepared to handle the influx and also provide your customers with excellent service. Update your website and social media. You are joking if you don't have a website or even a social media page for your business. I've been telling you in every video that I've posted, you need a website. A physical store will put up signs and decorations if you're having a promotion. Back to school season, Christmas, Black Friday, you should update your website and social platforms the same. Keep your products and service offers up to date with seasonally popular items at the forefront. A website should welcome your customers and make them stay by having an excellent user experience. Start a marketing campaign. This is the most important part. Who doesn't love deals? We've been gearing up for this moment as well. It's the time where your business can earn more than the usual. So let's up that percentage. Creating a marketing campaign will do just that. Offering seasonal products and services, giving out discounts, promotions, bundles, things that would entice a customer to get in your store or on your website and shop to their heart's content. Think Black Friday. What kind of offers would get you the most customers? Check your inventory and make sure that you're, you've stocked up on your most popular products and the ones that you're doing a promotion for. This could be done way ahead of time because it takes a while to get shipments 
and you would not be, want to be caught in the middle of a sale and run out. You can get products made at a lesser price if you order ahead of time as well. Rush orders are more expensive and this is why it's so important to start planning months ahead. Review issues. This will be the perfect opportunity to check out every problem that your customers and employees have been experiencing. Ask your customers and your employees for issues that they have encountered. What is causing the most friction? Whether it's long lines in store, a lengthy checkout process, products arriving broken, bad customer experience, etc. Which part of the buying process has the most issues? Find these things out and fix what can be fixed. Your customers and your employees will have a much better time working and buying from you which will really reflect on your future sales. Evaluate results after the sales, the promotions, the season's ending. Finding out your results. What was it successful? Were issues resolved? Did you reach your goals? How did this season compare to last one? What did and didn't work that you tried this year? You can use this data for future projects or if you want to use it as a permanent strategy for now on. That's the beauty of business. You can change things for the better as you go. The busy season is amazing but it can also be very stressful and hectic. Make sure you set your business and yourself up for success by implementing these tips. Let me know what you do to prepare for your peak season. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let's grow together.